Hello, this is one of the three videos for the presentation of the capabilities of VC tools while in interface with C Engineer 2011. The idea is that EC tools fills in the gaps of Eurocode seismic design of reinforced concrete buildings that have been analyzed, modeled and analyzed in SIA. So for this example, we will see a simple reinforced concrete dual building with moment resisting frames and walls and cores which has been modeled in SIA. The layout of the building is shown, is shown in this drawing. It is a reinforced concrete building with one basement which has perimeter basement walls and also reinforced concrete seismic walls which we are see here in the corner here as a core and here also in the corner we see here the upper stories formwork drawing where we see these walls that come from the basement but are considered seismic and also we see the beams and columns the building has three stories and one basement it is concrete grade C2025 and has rebars of B500 C. We will make a model of the building in C Engineer, which is shown here. This building has been analyzed within EC Tools, having the following constraints. We have described several load cases which is the self weight, the imposed dead weight, the live load, the seismic in one direction excitation and the seismic excitation in the other direction which are dynamic and also two equivalent static load cases which are the self weight directed in the X direction and in the Y direction. After calculating the, draw, the building, we go from plugins, easy tools, and we create an XML output, which is then used for the design within easy tools. We close the model from SIA and we open the corresponding EC Tools template. When opening the EC Tools template, we have already selected the EC Tools project, we have already selected the XML, and we go to the general program options where we have selected SIA. We have a log file name for the detailed output, the report language, which can be in, which can be English, Greek, German, French, Dutch, and Italian at the moment, and we also have a DXF model. Then we have the design options, which are the code, the design code selected, 1992 and 1998. We selected the activity class, which is medium or high. We check whether it's an uncoupled wall system, an inverted pendulum, or it has an irregularity in elevation, which we don't. We enter the control period, the importance class, a cumulative override if we need. We enter also one of the national annexes available, Greece, Italy, Germany, France, Romania, Czech Republic, Belgium, Cyprus, Austria, Slovenia. Then we have the Eurocode general building checks, which are second order effects, seismic joint, infills, sensitivity to infills, torsional sensitivity, and the exception of joint capacity design. We have load combinations automatically generated by EC tools with a Psi 2 factor of 0 0.3. The seismic loads are from model analysis. We do the joint capacity check in both directions from the checks of Eurocode. The foundation level is at 0 meters. Our foundation regarding seismic excitation, meaning the location where we have zero seismic displacements, 
the basement is not considered it's considered as a solid box in this example and we also have the selection for the concrete and fire uh, concrete cover and fire design according to Eurocode 2 so we select 60 minutes and the structure of S2 category we can also select the allowable rebar sizes the ones we want to use and we click start when we click start easy tools reads the XML and also unzips the corresponding ESA file to retrieve binary the results of the analysis and when we have read the results we stop at this intermediate tabbed table where we can see the available materials we see the available cross sections where we also have already created the three walls which are typical wall sections EC tool supports the following typical wall sections meaning I section angle tau C section Z and S these are the automatically determined cross sections by EC tools but it can, it can also accept for a core any arbitrary cross section so we see these cores or walls one two three we also see the assignment of beams and their cross sections and their angle we see the assignment of columns their cross section and their angle and we see the same for walls we see also a correspondence of the name of SIA with a drawing name why is this done? it's done because usually in drawings we need to have the same na name for each level for the same element meaning that column 1 is the same in all levels while in SIA we have a different name per element so we have this opportunity to relabel all elements and have them their label also their name in SIA and their name in the drawing this is done through this relabel text which we have to prepare it is a text showing the story and the name in SIA and the corresponding name in the drawing it's a tab delimited simple text file so we continue the analysis in here before we continue we can also create new sections for example we can add a new channel section name C test which has a bay of 0 0.5 meters an age of 0 0.9 meters value of 0 0.2 0 0.15 and the rebar cover is 35 millimeters we have this section which we can then go and assign it to one specific beam this is very very useful or column or wall this is very useful because sometimes when we design a building we have the analysis and in the design we see that some dimensions are not appropriate we need to increase them or decrease them but we are not sure of the effect this increase and decrease would have within easy tools we can do that without running again the analysis and only when we are certain of the new dimensions we can update or not update the analysis model and run the final analysis here we have the allocation of the dead load case live load case seismic in the one direction seismic in the transverse direction we also have a a load combination defined in SIA where we decide whether it will be not designed, designed as seismic when it's grace or designed as non-seismic this is the design of all the elements and this is the final design document in the final document we have the general information we have the combinations to be designed we have the general checks which are the displacements meaning theta x and theta y this is the second order analysis whether it's needed or not 
the maximum displacement in two directions, the seismic joint meaning the gap between adjacent buildings required at each level, the sensitivity of infills meaning the interstory drift at each frame, then we have the torsional sensitivity of each diaphragm and we have the also the reinforced concrete wall participation at each level. We see that no joint capacity is not needed. We see the Eurocode 2 checks for beams and columns for fire and then we see the beam design where we see the for each location of the beam top bottom left middle and right the required reinforcement the calculated reinforcement and the combination they originated from we can also scroll through the results through this bar for beams columns and walls this is for example the solution for one column we see the stresses and the strains for bottom and top. We see the safety factor for the designed reinforcement. We can also see some walls. For example, this is the wall named Pier 3, which its actual name in the drawing is W2. How do we know which Pier 3 is? We know it through the DXF that has been created during the analysis. If we open one DXF, the representation of the SIA model, where it also has included the annotations of EC tools, meaning that we can see that this is pier 1, the corner, this is pier 3, etc. We also see that all the basement walls are, in, are not included in the seismic wall design. They are recognized that they are basement walls and that they are not seismic piers or cores or whatever we call them. We also see the definition of the stories that has been performed within EC tools in order to be able to design according to all the Eurocode 8 requirements. Thank you very much.